Hello, welcome to SmartBoard 101. My name is Robert Rocha. I'm an Instructional Technology Specialist with the El Paso Independent School District. Recently, we've been talking about adding interactivity into our Smart Lopez lessons. Today's focus is going to be on the Spotlight Tool. The Spotlight Tool is a feature of the Magic Pen, and so you can use this to allow to emphasize certain items on your screen with your students. So let's go and find out how to go ahead and use that particular Smart or that Spotlight Tool. So I go to my board here. I'm going to click on my Spotlight tool and go to my page of my Spotlight that I have here. And here I've got a series of numbers that I have that I might be introducing to my students. Maybe I want to do some addition tables or, or times tables. And I want the students to maybe select a certain number or to emphasize a certain number I want them to see. And so to do that, I'm going to simply go to what's called my Magic Pen and use the Spotlight tool feature of that pen. And so right now I'm in full presentation mode. But if you notice in my floating toolbar that I have up here, I have three little dots after my forward and reverse arrows. And when I click on those dots, I get a, a screen that opens up. And the very bottom here, it says Magic Pen. So I'm going to go and click on that Magic Pen. And I'm going to click on it again to make sure I know it's highlighted. And it's not, there it goes. And I know I changed the tool because my arrow went from an actual cursor to being a pen, a blue pen. And so now, I could take my finger and I'm going to draw a circle. When I draw that circle, it creates that spotlight tool. So let's say I want to emphasize the number five. I go to my board and I take my finger and I draw a circle around it. It doesn't have to be the perfect circle as long as it's a closed loop. And when you let go, it makes a spotlight here. So now what you can go and do as you're talking with your students, you can go and actually move that particular spotlight to any number that you want to emphasize to your particular students. So it's a really powerful feature that you can use, although it's not completely transparent, it's just, it's just made to emphasize things. So for me to go ahead and to, to exit from that particular spotlight tool, I'm going to click on the little black X that's on the upper right hand corner, and I can click on that. And I'm back to where I was. So it's something that you would, it's a tool that you would use on the fly with your students. You don't have to actually recreate too much prior to using that particular spotlight tool. Now, the Magic Pen does have other features as disappearing ink. And, and another tool you can kind of use is the magnifying glass with that particular piece. And you can kind of use it in the same concept as using the, the spotlight tool, kind of extending it out a little bit here. But instead of drawing a circle, I'm going to make a square. And so now I'm going to emphasize that by enlarging that number five. It makes it into a magnifying glass. So let me draw a square. Make sure I close the loop. And notice now it enlarged my particular number that I see there. And I wanted to make it larger, even bigger, to really emphasize to my students. I can go from left to right within the box, and I can keep enlarging it as large as I want to go ahead and make it. Now, it doesn't get pixelated too badly, which is pretty good for your students. But if I want to go back to normal size or go back to a smaller size, I go from right to left now. And I can, know, I can get back to my original size. or show that. And to exit that, I simply go back again, just like in a spotlight tool, click on that X, and it goes back to normal. My magnifying glass is, is not there. Now, you may say, well, geez, I really like that tool. But you know what? Some things I want to emphasize or spotlight are not within Smart Notebook. So how can I go ahead and do that without using my Smart Notebook? Well, there is a really great feature, because you're in luck. The Smart Notebook actually, not the Smart Notebook, but the actual Smart Board has a special Spotlight tool that's separate from the Smart Notebook. So let me go ahead and show you how that particular feature works. I'm going to go back to my computer screen here, and I'm going to go ahead and go back to my, from not going from full screen to just being a regular screen here. I'm going to minimize my window. And I'm back to my desktop here. And so for instance, if you go to the very bottom right of my screen, I have a blue circle about Smart Tech Tool and icon, and I have that white circle. If I click on that, it opens up a window, and I have a feature that's called Other Smart Tools. And when I highlight that, a, another window opens up, and I see a Spotlight tool that's there. So I click on that one, and it's going to come up. And this one, I, it, right now you can say, well, it's not really the same Spotlight as before. Well, this one I can change the properties of that particular Spotlight. So the last time I used the board, I demonstrated this particular feature, and I left it at that particular point, but no problem. I just go to my drop-down menu that I see here on my particular computer screen. 
I go to the drop down menu screen, and I'm going to go to shape. And I'm going to make that an ellipses, and now it's a circle. But now I want to make it really, really dark. I want to really just really focus on just that little knoll that I have on my, my picture screen here. So I go back to my drop down menu screen, and now I can change the transparency down to not transparent. And so now I've completely have gone and darkened. I, now I can move that around by clicking any area on that screen, and I can move it around to show where I want to emphasize any particular part of my particular screen here. Now, what's really neat is, I'm not sure while this is showing up on the TV screen, but if I take my cursor and I go within the blue part of my particular screen, I click on that, I can make that circle smaller or ellipses or wider if I wanted to. Any shape that I needed to emphasize in my particular class. And again, once I resize it, I let go, and I can move it around any way that I want. So what was really cool, as I showed you before, is sometimes if you're doing a reading passage with your students and you want to, you maybe need something more of a square, I can go to a rectangle shape, actually, meant is the proper word to use here. And I can go to my rectangle, and I can do the same thing. I can make it wider if I wanted to by holding on those blue lines. I can make it smaller or more narrow if I wanted to go and do that. And I can move things around to emphasize a certain part of, the, say, a, a reading passage. And again, I can always go to the drop-down menu screen and go to uh, a transparency, but I only want it 50% transparent. I still want the kid to see the information in the background, but I only want to focus on that particular area that's right there. And kind of really neat to get the kids motivated and make them feel a bit better, especially the elementary kids, is there's also a star feature. And the kids really like that. You can always change that star around and show them how to emphasize different things you have here. So uh, that's some features you can go and use. And again, if you want to, you can just hit the escape here or the exit button, or you can hit the escape on your keyboard and it exit from that particular spotlight. But I'm going to go back up here real quickly. And I actually want to do something really quickly because you may say, well, what's another way that I can use that spotlight tool in my classroom? I'm going to go and add a page here. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a search for a picture in my gallery. So I went to my gallery. I'm going to do a search for what's called a uh, Van Gogh picture called Starry Night. And I hope it comes up. There's a picture. There we go. And there's my Starry Night. I'm going to go ahead and click on that and put it in here. So now if I was an art teacher or showing art to my particular students, I can go back to my magic pen. And this time, I'm not going to be in full screen. Notice right now I'm still in the actual uh, the building phase of my particular smart notebook. And notice on my, my magic pen, it's got those three little stars. And so I'm going to go and click on that one. And here, notice my cursor went to a pen. And I can say, well, I really want to focus on maybe this particular tree that I have right now. So I can go ahead and just draw a circle. Well, and what happened, I made, a, I made a classic mistake with Smart Notebook. I didn't lock the picture down. So let me go ahead and lock my picture down. I went back to my Select tool. And I'm going to go here to my drop-down menu screen and go to Locking and Lock in Place. And now I can get, go back to my, to my pen. And I can go over here now and draw a circle. And now I've got my spotlight that's there. And so that is pretty much how we use that spotlight feature in our smart notebook. But one thing I want to mention to you again, I had a little problem there, but I didn't panic. I knew exactly what happened because I was in control. And I was able to correct my problem right away. So when things go wrong on the smart board, don't worry. You can always be in control. You can always get it fixed. But this pretty much wraps it up for the Spotlight tool. I hope you use it in your class, and I think you will. And I think your kids will enjoy seeing that tool being used also as well.